Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Aaron Hilliard with Mushroom Wonderland, wishing you a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday Season. And uh, we're here with kind of a special episode due to popular demand. On this episode, we're gonna be talking about a really cool seasonal mushroom that's perfect for the holiday season if you like making sweets or confections and maybe adding mushrooms into that mix, impressing your friends or your family or you just wanna try new mushrooms out. And we're gonna be talking about the candy cap or Lactarius rubitus. This mushroom is a member of the milk cap family. The genus of milk caps is the Lactarius genus. And so this mushroom lactates when you damage the gills or when you cut the stem. It grows right here in the Pacific Northwest, all the way down to California, up into Canada. A few different species of Lacteria share this characteristic that gives it a really sweet maple syrup-like smell. And in this video, we're gonna include some ways to cook with candy caps to impress your family or friends around the holiday season. So let's get right into this video. First, I'm gonna ask you hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up if you're getting value out of this video, leave a positive comment. It helps me to understand what people wanna see in future videos. If the comments and the likes keep coming in, it just inspires me more to make better content, better videos, more in-depth descriptions of the mushrooms that we're talking about. So rather than a foraging video like I've done in the past few episodes, this one's gonna be solely about candy caps. And so let's get right into it, talking about Lactarius rubitus, or the candy cap, here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. So I'm mountain biking along and I come across a patch of these mushrooms. Check these out. Uh, these kind of orange looking mushrooms, look how roughly this guy is. So this is what is known as a candy cap or a Lactarius rubitus. See the milk, the lactation that comes out of this is kind of white colored. Uh, that's an indicator. Um, it's also got these gills that are a little bit decurrent. Um, the stipe is somewhat hollowish. And when they get older, they seem to be really hollow. Real orange peel like texture, real wavy edge on the cap there. So beautiful Lactarius rubitus. So Lactarius is a genus of mushrooms that's a basidiomycete. So it has the characteristics of what you would think of as a common mushroom with a cap and a stem. And it actually has gills underneath there rather than pores or a polypore surface like other mushrooms. So these mushrooms secrete a milky like substance when the gills or the stem or the cap are damaged. And that's known as lactation. So these mushrooms lactate and they have different colors of lactation which can be helpful in identifying which mushroom you're looking for. There are a couple of lookalikes. Let's talk about those. So Lactarius rufus is known as the red hot milk cap, and this one is actually toxic, and it could be confused for a candy cap. So this mushroom is uh, similar in size, but a little bit larger. One of the main differences is that it's gonna be a really dull kind of brick red, a reddish brown, pinkish brown, to orangish brown. Um, it's got pretty smooth uh, surface of the cap, sometimes slightly wrinkled, dry to moist, but it's never gonna be slimy. This mushroom is considered poisonous, although I find it to be pretty rare compared to candy caps. When you dry out Lactarius rufus, it's not gonna have any kind of sweet smell to it whatsoever. The latex on the Lactarius rufus, there's usually a copious amount. It's really white, it's really rather thick. The candy cap, the lactation, the milk that comes out of it is pretty thin and clear milky colored. It looks kind of like uh, skim milk. Lactarius rufus is very acrid, so if you were to just chew off a tiny bit of the cap, nibble it in your teeth, let it swish around in your mouth for about 10 seconds and spit it out, Give it a few minutes because this mushroom can take a while before that acrid taste really kicks in. But if your mouth gets spicy or it has a really bad acrid flavor, I would definitely leave that one behind. So the nibble and spit test is a really good test, but the overall best test to know that these are candy caps is to dry them out for a night or two and the smell will be unmistakable where the Lactarius rufus will not have any smell. Another member of the Lactarius family that could be confused for the candy cap is Lactarius subviscidus. And this mushroom looks similar in size and stature. The cap is often darker colored than that of Lactarius rubitus. It's a darker kind of red-orange color. 
and it's got a very slimy or viscid cap. That's how it gets its name, subviscidus. This species is non-toxic, so you don't need to worry too much about mixing them up, but it's definitely not going to give you the flavor you're looking for in a candy cap. Another look-alike is Lactarius rufulus, and this one really only occurs around Northern California, but it's also got the same characteristics as a candy cap, so it's a good one to collect. It's got that sweet odor and flavor, and it's got that clear to milky kind of skim milk looking lactation. Lactarius rufulus is just another version of the common name candy cap. The Lactarius rufulus is a lot more stout. It's a darker red color and it's got little orange hairs that often grow on the bottom of the stipe. Um, it's got a similar looking lactation and a similar smell and it's also edible and a good one to collect. Now, the foolproof way that I have found to prove that it's a candy cap beyond a shadow of a doubt is to go ahead and dry this mushroom. You will notice the smell if you have to use your imagination to smell something sweet. It is definitely not a candy cap. These can be very pungent and it seems to vary between patches the potency of the smell and flavor of these mushrooms. Sometimes they're a little bit more faint and sometimes they're extremely strong. I've actually had Tupperware that I had uh, candy caps in and I transferred them into a different jar and I washed that piece of Tupperware in the dishwasher two different times and it has that smell permanently stained into them. A very strong smell. Personally, I don't smell them very much out in the field. It's when they're dried is when they become really apparent to me. I don't know, maybe my sense of smell isn't that good. Some people claim to be able to smell them when they're walking through the forest. That's not my experience. But when they're dry, they'll smell up the whole kitchen like maple syrup. Lactarius rubitis, look at that. Someone's, uh, someone's leaking some milk from the sticker bushes here. And this one does have kind of a cloudy milk. Gills, how beautifully spaced they are. And uh, kind of orange color on the stipe. And there's even kind of a ring zone. You can see this kind of whitish little ring on this type. So here's the candy cap identification checklist. So it's gonna be a warm orange to a bright orange brown color. The cap surface is gonna be dry, distinctly rough or wrinkled. The cap margin is often scalloped or ruffly. The latex from these mushrooms is cloudy white to nearly clear. The stipe is fragile and hollow, except in some younger specimens it might be stuffed with some fibrous material. One thing we did on Thanksgiving was to take an acorn squash and cut it in half, put some butter and salt and a little bit of brown sugar, and then I grated candy caps all over it, and it was an absolute hit at the feast. Another good way to do it is to make some banana bread with candy caps and it'll give it kind of a sweet flavor. Okay, so now that we know what candy caps look like, how to identify them, what are some of the common lookalikes, today we're gonna cook candy cap infused banana bread. And so here we go, we got this uh, container full of dried candy cap mushrooms. There's quite a few in here. They sure shrivel up really small when they get dry, but I'm gonna weigh these out on a digital scale to make sure that we've got a consistent amount for our recipe. There we go, five grams dried candy caps. Oh wow. 
I can definitely taste the candy cap. I'm not gonna taste it. This candy cap banana bread is to die for. You gotta try this. It will knock your stockings off. So make some of this for your holidays and uh, enjoy your candy caps while they're growing. So even in the coldest months of winter, we're not getting a ton of new mushrooms growing, but I got a lot of footage from earlier in the fall. So I'm gonna to continue to release ID videos and foraging videos and exposés on certain mushrooms, kind of like this one. So thanks for coming and I hope you and your family have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Peace out, people.